This is the new Jaguar XE for 2019 with a new look on the outside and more importantly, a brand new interior. But before I give you the full walk around, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that little bell icon so you're notified exactly when one of our videos goes live. The new XE looks quite a lot different from the old XE. And one of the reasons for that is at the front here because it looks so much more assertive, so much more aggressive than the old XE. Now, to give you a quick rundown of the changes, this is the new R Dynamic model. So it's the sporty sort of model in the model range and a lower bumper. It's got these wide apertures. It's got this J blade bit of trim around here. The grill is new looks a lot wider it looks a lot more sort of aggressive but the biggest difference with the new XE are the headlights now they're 12 millimeters slimmer than they were before there's a new J blade day running light design all XEs get LED headlights as well across the range but there's one thing I really like about these headlights if you look very carefully you can see there's a monogram here it's the modern take on the a traditional Jaguar lozenge badge and it's just a really nice design idea. At the side we've got the optional large alloy wheels and they look absolutely sensational. There's a new colour as well, Caldera Red, looks fantastic and because it's the sporty model we've got black trim as well. The whole thing looks so much more purposeful than it did before. And likewise, at the rear, Jaguar have tried to make the XZ look wider. How have they done that? Well, there's a new rear bumper. It's uh, depending upon trim, you get a different look. So on the sporty model, we've got this sort of like mesh work and this black center section here with the uh, body colored trim. But the big change are the new rear lights. They're LEDs with a new LED day running light design. Uh, the design, in fact, uh, is the chicane design. The old XZ had a circular design reminiscent of the E-Type, but here is reminiscent of the E-Pace. And we've also got sweeping dynamic indicators. It's in here though, where the XE makes a gargantuan step on from the old XE. Now Jaguar freely admit with the old XE, they paid too much attention to the way it drove to the detriment of the interior. This model, they've rectified that because it's so much nicer in here. Now the quality of the materials is a real step on. Top spec models get this Windsor leather uh, seats, really, really nice grain to them. Uh, the quality of the plastics is a lot better. You get real metal finishes all the way along here on the center console and around to the central display here. But they've also improved the design. Now there are key elements of the I-PACE all electric SUV in here. First of all, there's a steering wheel taken from the I-PACE. That's the most obvious change with its hidden until lit uh, buttons and controls. Uh, in front of you, you've got the I-PACE display, 12.3 inches. And then over here, we've got the latest in control touch pro duo with its latest design. It's a lot quicker to operate, looks a lot nicer as well. The screen is a lot crisper, but down here is the real change because you've now got a screen just like the iPace. You've got these lovely tactile knobs, a little screen here to operate different functions like the climate control, the seats. Then further down here, the rotary gear lever has been replaced with this trigger style gear lever, new buttons, there's a drive mode selector taken from the Jaguar E-Pace, there's even a wireless charging pad for the first time as well. There's more storage down here and um, the door cards have been redesigned as well. They're a lot less fussy than they were before. Uh, in the old XE, the electric window buttons and the memory seat buttons were all over the place. Here, it's a lot more simple. Another thing that's really nice, uh, the veneers. We've got the carbon fiber weave here, but in other models, you can have a wood veneer. Real attention to detail has been lavished upon this model. Another big tech upgrade to the XE is the rear view mirror. Now it's taken from the Range Rover Evoque. What it is, is there's a camera on the roof. So if you've got people in the back here and you can't see out of the rear window, you press a button and the view from the camera is beamed onto the rear view mirror, making it, giving you the clearest view possible. Now in terms of uh, midlife updates, I've never come across an interior that's been changed quite so much as this car. The trim structure has been overhauled as well. Gone are the previous trim levels and incomes S, SE and HSE, with each version being available as a standard model or sportier R-Dynamic. Our car, for example, is a range-topping HSE R-Dynamic. 
Meanwhile, under the bonnet, there's just three engines, a 2-litre petrol with 247 or 296 bhp and just one diesel, 178 bhp 2-litre diesel has been tweaked to meet stringent RDE2 NOx emissions testing. The promised mild hybrid and plug-in hybrid XE, disappointingly, you'll have to wait at least a year for those.